a tremendous competitor. Get the ball up right now. Very fierce. Always on the attack. If I'm going out, I'm going around the buoys and try to beat up on somebody else. I mean, he's as tough as nails. But he could do anything he wants. He's just that kind of talent. He was indeed a superb sailor. And I remember him slamming his fist on the deck and saying, damn, I want this place. There aren't a lot of sailors who have won the number of national and international championships that Buddy Melgus has. I went off and sailed other classes just to test myself against the best sailors in the world. Buddy gets into the Olympics in 72, and Buddy crushed him. Just sailed the hell out of the boat, beat him like a bird mule. Buddy Mages Jr. Absolutely masterful, convincing victory. But there was an item that was still on Buddy's list, even though he wouldn't say it publicly, that was even bigger, the America's Cup. And the coming out of a little tiny lake, Lake, lake Geneva, you know, how could he possibly compete? We were stumbling along and all of a sudden, Bill Koch's name came to pass. Bill is a MIT PhD, vast fortune. I say boats paid as science, sailing as an art, Buddy, uh, was the artist. The Leonardo da Vinci of sailing. The combination of the brilliance of Buddy Melgas and the technology of Bill Koch together, the art and science of sailing, it worked. You better turn around and look at this. We're always learning from his. The time that we spent together, he was always teaching me something. Buddy is doing this at a higher level than anybody else. He's got a, you call it a sixth sense, and he's always three or four moves ahead. And then he knew the wind had shifted. Yeah. Off he goes, wham. <laughs> Buddy Melgas, in my view, is one of the greatest sailors of our age, by far. He's the greatest sailor that the United States has ever produced. I've sailed with all the best names in the sport. And Buddy's a cut above. <laughs> 